Hello, this is H.J. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! Let's investigate the city of Troya, and try to find out how to get to that cave there that we can't land on with our airship, and find some treasure, as long as we're in the area. Yeah, there's going to be quite a bit of treasure here that wasn't in the 2D version of the game. Well, okay. Never mind him. So, yeah, I'm going to uh, walk around, collect all that stuff, and uh, well, let's take a look around. See if maybe we can get some good information while we're at the pub, because that's where we always get perfectly accurate information in JRPGs. And I tried offering him some weed, but eh, apparently he didn't like that. 100,000 gil? Where am I going to get that kind of money? Nuts. Man, this is one expensive strip club. I mean, I could sell the gold hairpin, but I want to hold on to that for later. The Blood Lance, I'll probably sell. Uh, if you know a good use for the Blood Lance, let me know, viewers, because otherwise I'm probably going to sell it to buy the member's writ. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't have any plans to use... No. No, I'm not. I, I know, it's the hair. But yeah, I don't have any plans to use the Blood Lance there. Who is Stella, anyway? You're not Stella, are you? I hope not. I mean, I like cougars as much as the next guy, but... Wow, oh, okay. I'm not going to talk to everyone around here. Uh, spoiler alert! Most of the people here don't have anything useful to say. In fact, none of them do, actually. But yeah, with the Members Writ, you can... Well, get into the uh, private area of the... A pub here and you can actually get an augment it's totally not worth it though I'm gonna get it anyway but yeah if you want to skip it you can it's I mean I'll even use it actually but yeah it's not worthwhile <laughs> well, sorry I don't have any uh, epic stories about uh, gremlins or goblins I can tell you stories about my gremlin, if you want. No. No. Sorry. Guess I'm not a member. I have a member, but I am not one. Oh, well. Okay, let's go. Yeah, we're trying to find a way to get there. How did you get there, anyway? So, the logical course of action is... I wonder if she's talking about that old guy who was by the pond down there. Black Chocobo? Huh! Well, maybe we ought to, uh... No. 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 I, I, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I wonder if we can find Clasco here. He was the Chocobo guy, right? At least I think that was the name of the guy. Anyway. Oh, flying chocobos. We haven't had that yet in the series. Oh, so that's where they come from. Ah, yeah. So black chocobos, that's how we're going to get to the lodestone cavern there. So, yeah, we have to go north. Ho! And then uh, grab a black chocobo and fly over there then. Alright. Well, at least the directions were fairly straightforward. What was that? Hmm, apparently the black chocobo has little money. Okay, well, that's everything we can do there. We got all the information. Let's get some more of the treasure around here. Let's see. Yeah, unlike the 2D versions, you can't cut through the right side of the village like that, so I'm gonna have to walk around. Oh, well. The inn is a little expensive here, too. So, but at this point in the game, we've got so much money, it doesn't really matter. Which is why I'm eventually going to get the members writ anyway, because uh, um, at about this point in the game, money really stops being an issue for the most part. So, yeah, we might as well buy what we can. Oh, I forgot to get some treasures down there. On the, the, on the land, that is. I can't get up there right now, but oh well. Anyway, got a new treasure there. Awesome. 
and if we go up here, haha! -ha! Let's see. I know there's four treasures around here. There are four boxes. Or are there five? Eh. But anyway, yeah, we gotta find them around here. Ooh, a decoy. And they work just about as well as they did in Zombies Ate My Neighbors. But anyway, I thought there was a fourth one down. Or is it up? Ah, there it is. Ha ha! One thousand gil. All right. Okay, well, let's collect those other two treasures on the way out. And, well, then we'll head on over to the cave. I wonder what makes it so magnetic anyway. I mean, I guess it's like a magical thing or something. Well, I gotta get that ore there somewhere. Did I get the tent here? Yeah, I probably did. I forget. Whatever. I'm pretty sure there was, because I did, because, uh, well, it's not there anymore. But anyway, let's see. We go to the right here. Ha-ha! Yeah, a couple new treasures around here. And, all right, there's the last one. High posters. Now, those will be pretty good. Okay, well, that's everything we can do here. So, let's head on north. One thing I did since last time was I fully completed the world map. I don't know if that counts towards Treasure Hunter, though, because you don't get uh, an item for doing it, but I just did that for my OCD. Ah, and here we got a couple enemies, new enemies around here. All right. Mort Blossom and Trant. They are all weak to fire? Yeah, fire. Yeah. No, not that fire spell. But anyway, all right, so we got that on them. Yeah, these two are uh, indigenous to this area. You cannot meet up with them anywhere else. So in order to complete your bestiary, that's what you would have to do. So anyway, found the chocobo area here. Fat chocobo, don't really care about that. And let's see, okay. Now there are a few hidden items around here. See if I can remember where they are. Okay, there's one there. I, I always have trouble finding the three around here for some reason. Because I switched them from the 2D versions. So it's kind of tricky to find them. Oh wow. Well. I thought there was one up here. Is it around there? No? Hmm. Ah, there it is. Okay, I knew there was one in the middle somewhere. And this one I always do remember, though, the, by the flower bed there. That makes it easy. The others I always forget for some reason. But anyway, okay, so let's heal everyone up. Talk to the white chocobo. Get all my MP back, although I didn't really spend that much. But it's there. Might as well. And fortunately, the black chocobo in this version of the game doesn't run around like a chicken with its head cut off. So much easier to capture. Personally, I prefer Kwe over work. as far as chocobo noises go. But anyway, now that we've flown on the black chocobo, maybe uh, Edward just wanted to get us hooked on some weed. But anyway, hmm. maybe they're in cahoots! Well, yeah, that's kind of the point. Oh, well. Anyway, okay, so before going in there, we want to equip some new items. I'm just equipping the Frost Shard just because uh, you don't really need it, but I just want to throw something in there. And what I want to do is I want to give the Gaia Gear to Tella, the Sage's Surplice to Cecil there, because uh, Cecil is primarily going to be healing in the cave, and tanking for that matter. So... Yeah, I really don't need him to um, be attacking, actually, from the front row there. So let's get the Fling Claws and Ice Claws to Yang there. There are quite a few enemies weak to fire in the area, actually. And uh, you don't have to equip Ruby Rings. They, they don't really help you your defense. But I guess they help your evasion a little bit, so... I guess. If you don't have them or don't want to buy more... Whatever, it's it's not a big deal either way. But I'm just going to do it now anyway because, well, I got him. I might as well. 
So, okay, so that's all the equipment there. I've got it all listed in the video description, just in case for those who uh, miss it or want to look back on it later. Now, uh, one thing I want to do is I want to remove Counter from Cecil because, well, his physical attacks aren't going to do anything. So, I might as well do it that way, so that way I don't waste the time. Well, counterattacking everything. And let's see, everyone should have defend. It's their auto battle command. And yeah, that's all good. Also, uh, Tella definitely should have the confused spell ready to go. That's going to be really useful in this area. And let's say, just in case I screw up something. Oh yeah, and not uh, like you saw me do just there. Um, make sure Cecil is in the back row so he takes a little less damage. So, all right. So what are you going to do? Just drag your uh, bag full of armor or something? You got a wheelbarrow or something? I don't know. Yeah, not much we can do there. Apparently rubies aren't metallic. So they're like the only arm gear we can use with that. So I can use my fists of fury. Nuts. Now, one thing about this part if you want to... Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, with the uh, power armlet there that I won earlier. Yeah, you see that little... I don't know what that symbol is. It's like a lightning bolt symbol or something. Yeah, that indicates that you are you have metal equipment, so you'll be paralyzed in battle. But anyway, yeah, see, so you got. if you want to get 100% map completion, you got to walk up a little in order to uh, get that little corner of the map there. Yeah, it's a real bastard move. Oh, well. Fortunately, once you do realize it, then you see it, and then it's easy. But anyway, yeah, with a uh, new enemy here, Ogres. Uh, they do not have any elemental weakness, but they are susceptible to confusion. Ooh, nice. Got the two out of three that I wanted. So, yeah, uh, not only does confusion... Well, confuse them, cause them to attack each other, but I think it resets their ATB as well. So that way... Uh, what is it? Uh, that way they won't attack you right away, or even each other. So you can have Yang just you know, focus while you're waiting, so that way they won't uh, attack you immediately after getting hit. Uh, also, I forgot to mention... Uh, at the beginning of every battle in this area, you want Cecil to cover Tella, or they will kill you! So yeah, that's basically going to be Cecil's job during the battle. Cover Tella, cast Cure on the party whenever you take a sufficient amount of damage. Ah, and another new enemy here. Kate Seth, or Ketchi, or however you want to pronounce it. Whatever you like. Uh, you could cast Confuse on them, but since we're probably going to kill it pretty soon anyway, we might as well just try on the Ogre there. Or we could just totally whiff right now. Oh, wow. Now, that Blaster attack there uh, has, I believe, a 50-50 chance of... Well, if it actually hits you, a 50-50 chance of inflicting Paralysis or Death. So, I hope you got a few uh, Phoenix Downs, because you're probably going to die a few times in this area, no matter what you do against them. So yeah, unlike the 2D versions, they'll just use it automatically here. They won't wait for you to uh, get them alone. I think that's the only way they actually use it in the 2D versions. Or something like that. So yeah, they're a little harder, but, well, they're easier to kill, I think. All right, after that battle, gained another level there for Sid. Awesome. Let's see. Uh... Okay, yeah, just make sure to fill out the edges here. I think the rest of this floor is pretty easy to uh, finish off then for the map. Oh yeah, another thing about the uh, Kate Sith guys. You can win cat claws from them, which are really good claws for Yang there. And they're not an ultra rare drop either. So, hey, if you want to take a little while to farm them, yeah, go nuts. 
You could do the same thing for power armlets too with the ogres. They can uh, drop those as well, not an ultra rare drop either. And anyway, we got a new enemy here, Needle Hog. And well, they just have a needle attack. You don't have to use Confuse on them. Let's heal up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, these guys don't have very much HP. We can pretty much one-shot them. They're actually a little easier than the 2D versions. Alright, awesome. So yeah, just like with the uh, power armlets, if I actually do win a Cat Claws, if I win them, I will just um, ignore them. I mean, I'll hold on to them, but I'm not going to actually use them, just in case for those playing along with me, uh, that you can still, you know, keep up. I'm not going to be, like, more powerful than you might otherwise be. So you make sure you get that little corner there. There's quite a few little corners in this map here. This one's a little tricky, too, to get 100% map completion. But we'll make it. Never have enough money. Awesome. Or ethers, even though I hardly ever use them. I think I don't use as much... I don't think I use as much MP as I... Uh, in this version of the game, as I do the 2D versions for some reason. Anyway, yeah, you see in the upper left there? Yeah, there's a little corner of land there that I just revealed. Yeah, that's another real bastard move with this map completion. But I gotta get them all. Get all the maps. There we go. And... Ha-ha! There we go. Eh, I never use those. Game? That's one step away. Let's see. Oh, a little rim over there. Guarded by the infernal spawn of Satan! I mean, uh, okay, bats. Let's see, these guys are weak to holy, but we have no holy elemental stuff right now. Because no one can use bows and arrows anymore. Thanks, game. Oh, well. Yeah, even Cecil can't equip them anymore. But yeah, just uh, give them a good kick from Yang. That takes care of them anyway. Hooray! Would be nice if Yang had, like, a holy elemental clause or something like that. Sadly, no such clause exists. Not in this version of the game, anyway. Only in certain other versions. But anyway, yeah, now at this point, we should start running into some other new enemies. Hmm, lots of shiny in this place, too. Who keeps all the torches lit around here? Probably the same guy who keeps all the torches lit in Minecraft. They never go out, right? In Minecraft? I don't know, it's been years since I played the game. I don't know, maybe they changed it since then or something. I don't know. It's... Yeah, you see, uh, yeah, they can paralyze you with your, their physical attacks there, so. Oh, well. But anyway, let's cover Tella there. And, uh, the new enemy there is Mind Flare. They actually have an ultra rare drop, which is really, really, really good. Uh, it's the Mind Flare, um,. Mind Flare item. We'll just call it that for now to avoid spoilers. And what are you going to do with that knowledge? But yeah, the nice thing about the item they drop is that it it's the only I think it's the only attack in the game that can paralyze an enemy with 100% accuracy. It is really good. I mean, provided they're not immune to it that is. But yeah, it's really good in the late game. But yeah, I would imagine most people probably don't have the patience to do that. It took me like two or three hours to farm it myself. So. And besides, there are other ways of... There are other ways of dealing with uh, enemies in the late game anyway. So it's not a huge deal, but it would it is really nice. So if you do get it, hold on to it for later. Hey, all right. 
That was easy enough. Now here we get some silent bells. If you uh, want to make one of the upcoming boss fights obscenely easy, hold on to those. They are really nice. I'm not going to use them, but I will mention them when it comes time. Got some fairy claws here. Awesome. Might as well get some statuses in there. I don't know if they still deal more damage to giants, though. I forget. Like, in the 2D versions, you would deal, like, quadruple damage. I know you don't deal that much damage in this version, but... Come to think of it, though, I don't know if weapons have any uh, creature-type exploitation for damage or things like that. I kind of miss that. I liked that about the ori original. Gave the weapons a lot of flavor that uh, a lot of games don't have nowadays. Well, a lot of games in general, even back then, I suppose. But yeah, a lot of times it's just, well, you don't even care about the weapon. You just care about the numbers on the weapon, you know? Oh! I kind of glossed over it. Um, <laughs> There's a new enemy there, Succubus! Uh, they are weak to fire, uh, holy, and cure, since, well, they're undead, obviously. Got an emergency exit to get out of the area. Awesome. Let's see, now that's to the end of the area, but I don't want to do that yet. First thing I want to do is get to the save point over here, and if I don't meet up with the last of the new enemies, or I can meet up with them right now, why not? Well, if I didn't, I was going to walk around here for a little while, but uh, apparently I don't have to now. Please don't. Please don't paralyze. Power. Game? Okay, we can kill you the old-fashioned way. Fine. Uh, but they are weak to ice! These, uh, Etten snakes, I believe they are. And the guy up front there, the Cave Naga, uh, would be weak to holy if we had holy elemental stuff, but apparently we don't. Oh, well. But anyway, as long as I'm here, let's, uh, heal up. Let's see, I think we're mostly doing okay. Wow, we're still doing pretty good on MP, too. Nice. Okay, well, let's save up here. You know what, let's go check out the boss fight. I'll go for a little extra length on uh, today's episode, since I haven't uploaded in a little while. Uh, not not that I have an, an ulterior motive or, or anything like that. Who, me? Uh oh. That's okay. We can take the crystal from you. Yeah, I've heard that before. For boss time! Against the Dark Elf himself. Is that a hat on your head? Or is that a horn? Or a spike? Or something? I don't know. But anyway, okay, so, uh, with this guy, he is weak to fire! So, let's put that to use on him. Seems to be having a little trouble hitting him, but, oh well. So yeah, uh, cover Tella there. Have everyone, uh, continuously attack there. I can't analyze him. Huh. Well, just take my word for it, viewers, he is weak to fire. And holy, actually. Man, if only I could... Really? If only I, I could use my sword. Because, I mean, I got the... I still got the Mythgraven Blade. That's holy elemental. That'd be the best weapon I could probably equip right now, actually. Unless you got lucky in one, like, a... Uh, uh, Stone Blade, I think it's called in this version of the game. You win them from, like, Black Lizards or something. Or Medusas, or Gorgons, or whoever. But they're in, uh, I think you can encounter them around Eblon. Oh, there we go. I was wondering. I was going to say, I'm running circles around this guy. Well, that's okay. We can take him. Whoa! Wow, look at that damage. How are we supposed to beat something like that? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day! <laughs>